<laughs> Lily Day Doll, Fight Connect TV, proudly sponsored by ESBC Boxing Gaming in association with Empire Fight Store. I'm backstage here at Sky Sports and Boxer in Newcastle. I'm delighted to be joined by the Burmese Python. Nicola, how are we? And obviously Terry as well. Thank you very much for being here. How are we doing? Good to see you. Great to see you. Yeah, I'm really well, thank you. What brings you to Newcastle tonight, apart from obviously watching the boxing? <laughs> apart from the wonderful boxing, um, my sponsors, Wow Hydrate, kindly gave myself and Terry the opportunity to come here and get some interviews and hopefully get my name out there so I can really start building on my boxing profile being very new to the sport. Absolutely. Well, before we talk about your boxing history and your, your combat sports history, um, let's talk about, obviously, Well Hydrate. Brilliant that you've become a brand ambassador, that you're here with them in this capacity. You know, they're working, getting you interviews. You know, it really is fantastic. And, and they seem to be really, really behind up and coming new fighters. Yeah, absolutely. And I honestly can't fault them. They're brilliant, you know, and the drinks really help with training as well. Yes. <laughs> as we all love well, well Hydrate. But big yeah. plug. <laughs> Uh, but listen, obviously new to boxing, 2-0 and I think the record is now, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. People will look at your boxing record and say, okay, new to the sport, but if they haven't done their research on you and where you've come from, what you've achieved, my personal favourite is your experience in Lathway. I'm a big Muay Thai fan, so um, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big uh, Lathway <laughs> fan as well. And it's starting to come over to the UK, it's starting to come into Ireland, but we don't really have the publicity or we don't really have the coverage of it uh, on here. So let's talk about that journey. Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, I'm really impressed that you know what Lethway is yes. because a lot of people don't. Um, and for those of you who don't, Lethway is a Burmese martial art. So it allows punches, kicks, knees, elbows, headbutts, yes. all with no gloves. So yeah, I mean, it teaches you a huge amount of conditioning yes. and resilience mm -hmm. um, and definitely the, the courageousness and fearlessness. Yes, absolutely. I think even with Muay Thai to a certain degree, boxing purists or even some MMA fans to a degree they think that it's very violent they think that there's no kind of artistry in it um, but they will be people who don't have not spent the time to get to know the sport to love the sport and the kind of art of elbows of knees and, and all those different things and um, for you how did you get into Lathway what was the you know the kind of transition I suppose because it is you know as you say a very very tough sport a very respected sport and yeah. um, it, it you know uh, a in that area so for you what was the kind of draw to, to kind of take your energy into that area so for me so my mother was born in Burma and my fight name's the Burmese Python so for me it was more of a heritage thing I'm very proud of where my family come from and being the Burmese Python I wanted to go home and represent yeah. my mother my family yeah. and fight under the traditional rule set so that's what first drew my attention are you surprised that it doesn't have a bigger platform over here than it kind of should deserve I guess I'm not surprised because it's really quite brutal. Yes. Sort of no gloves, headbutts. Yes. Uh, I mean, I've never even been in a street fight, so <laughs> like the contrast <laughs> is quite significant. Um, but I do think it, it's a beautiful sport in its own right. For you, you know, generally to be a fighter, to kind of have this as your career or your chosen path, wh what was it or what kind of sparked that interest or love for you that made you say, you know, this is what I'm here to do? So it was actually during COVID, I started training with a local boxer in Luton, Linus, who's ironically now fighting for a British title um, in a couple of weeks. And he took me down to the Tim uh, Essex Fight Academy to train with St Terry <laughs> uh, and Vic. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. And I was really fortunate that Terry took me under his wing. <laughs> Terry, how's it been, you know, taking her under your wing like that, you know? What has she shown you in the gym that's made you excited for her future in the sport? When, when she first came in the gym, um, you could see she had the enthusiasm. You could see she had been in some sort of background of fighting. Yeah. Um, she moved well. She was uh, dedicated, everything. Um, and she came in, she's, she's a good girl, listens, absorbs everything. She's training with some good people down there and she, she was matching them. Um, and I knew she could do really well. And then. We, we, we started to, uh, uh, with the training and everything, and then um, with, with, with everything happening, well, I Hydrate came in, had a look, see us moving around, and um, you know, they decided that she was well, good, that they started to, to back her and us, and, and it was great, but she will be good, and she's ready to fight these girls, ready. Amazing, do we have any dates? Do we have anything in plan, set in stone for what's June. next? Uh, yeah, June the 27th, she'll have her next fight. Um, against Becky Ferguson, um, so that'll be a good fight. But, um, I'm ready to put her there with these girls. She just needs a little bit more experience, but with the left way and everything else, 
she's she's there. Amazing. Well, listen, we look forward to it. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Terry, as well. Nicola, the Burmese Python, and Terry for Fight Connect TV. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.